this section we're going to begin to learn to solve equations that are a little bit more uh, complicated than we have in the past. We're actually going to be putting both of our rules, our properties together, the addition and the multiplication properties. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and review each one of the properties individually. If we had a problem that said x plus 5 equals 12, then I could, remember, get the x alone by undoing this plus 5. So the opposite of adding 5 would be to subtract 5. As long as we do it to both sides, we can do that. That's a valid move. So we're left with x on the left-hand side equals 7 on the right-hand side. In the next problem, we have x minus 7 equals negative 12. Remember, we're again getting x alone. So we would have to undo this minus 7, which would be adding 7 to both sides and I would be left with x on the left hand side and negative 5 on the right hand side. Now let me get back to the beginning of my show. I got out of order a little bit so I apologize for that. And we also learned about the multiplication property. So if we had negative 7 times y equals 28 we would undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by negative 7. This would leave us with y on the left and 28 divided by negative 7 is negative 4 on the right hand side. In this problem we have x divided by negative 4 equals 16. Well remember the opposite of dividing by negative 4 would be to multiply by negative 4. As long as we do it to both sides that's a valid math move. So we would uh, simplify that. On the left we would have x equals, and on the right, 16 times negative 4 is negative 64. We also learned about the distributive property. And that distributive property is where we would multiply throughout uh, more than one term. So we have to literally distribute the multiplication. 3 times x would give us 3x, and 3 times a positive 4 would give us a positive 12. Now, every single one of these rules, along with our add, subtract, multiply, and divide, positive and negative numbers, we're going to be using all of this together to solve these next few equations. So we have here an equation that says 2w minus 12w equals 40. Well, the first thing that I notice is that we have w's in two different places. We can combine those like terms to give us negative 10w equals 40. Now this is a multiplication property. So to undo this multiplication, we would do the opposite. Instead of multiplying by negative 10, we would divide by negative 10. And remember, we can do that as long as we do it to both sides. So the tens would cancel, and we would have w equals 40 divided by negative 10 would be negative 4. In our next example, we have negative 8 minus 9 equals 3x plus 5 minus 2x. Now there's a lot of things going on here, but just take them one at a time. First thing that I notice is that we have a negative 8 and a negative 9. Those are like terms. They're both plain numbers. So we can combine those to give us negative 17 equals 3x plus 5 minus 2x. Now I also notice that we have x's in two different places here on the right hand side. So we can combine those like terms also. 3x and negative 2x would be a positive 1x. Now this is an addition property. We want x alone, so we need to remove the 5 from the right hand side. The opposite of adding 5 would be to subtract 5 from both sides. When we do that, we're left with negative 22 equals x.